hi friends welcome to joy of life um, so today's second problem um, another medium one from lead code the problem number is 1325 uh, it's a medium level problem and uh, the problem description says delete leaves uh, with a given value so we are supposed to delete the leaves with a given value so let's look at the description given a binary tree root and an integer target delete all the leaf nodes with the value uh, of target Note that once you delete a leaf node with a value of target, if its parent node becomes a leaf node and has the value target, it should be it should also be deleted. You need to continue doing it until you can't. Okay, that's interesting. So here we have been given with a tree, as you can see that uh, our target has been given as uh, two over here, right? So what I can see is that uh, uh, there are some uh, some uh, some twos that are not leaves, right? Uh, there is a non-leaf uh, two, so we are targeting to delete two. And uh, there there are a bunch of leaves that 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 are uh, twos. So what will happen is this two will be deleted first. Uh, this one, I mean to say, both the leaves. So when you delete both the leaf node, what happens is we get a tree something like this right over here. And here also, after this deletion is performed, what we see is we have a leaf node which is two. So we should delete this as well. So on the first pass, these two have been deleted. And on the second pass, this is deleted. And this is the tree that will output, right? Which will have one, one, and a null over here and then a three then three as a child which is null and then four there are two nulls and a four so this will be this should be our output so it's not that that we identify the uh, leaf and delete it but once we have done deletion we need to check if there are any more nodes which meets this criteria or not so we'll head over to the solution and before that as as i always recommend do give it a try yourself uh, do check the uh, problem statement and try to uh, solve it and then you can um, continue watching uh, the video so let's head over to the board and uh, let's see the problem in details so here i have taken the same example from lead code and what we are going to do is uh, we are going to delete the target node who's um, so my target is two over here and we are going to delete all the target nodes and here i have uh, highlighted the target nodes with a different color from uh, the original tree so as you have already seen that in the first uh, uh, what happens initially is uh, this two is not a leaf, leaf node right so when this when this node is deleted this becomes a leaf right because it doesn't have any more uh, any more children so a leaf node is a one that does not have any children right so initially we can delete these two and what we'll have once we delete them is we'll end up with a tree something like this so we'll have one we'll have three and we'll have a four and on the left edge we'll have the two so if i have to check the leaf nodes on this tree uh, this becomes uh, eligible for deletion and we should we must delete it so <clears throat> we'll see uh, so as i always say that when we get a problem with the tree we try to make use of the stack in order to come up with uh, the solution because we, what we are doing is uh, in a in a situation like this if we are ne if we need to do this we should come and go towards our left and right and left and right until we reach a leaf node and then once we reach a leaf node what we can do is we can delete at this point of time right so if we delete it and once the recursion is over when we go back to this node again so this becomes uh, this qualifies as a leaf node right because we have already deleted it so the approach is that we should go depth first not the breadth first so we will not check layer by layer over here we are not going to consider this layer then go to this layer we will go as deep as possible and then we slowly come up so we go to the bottom we hit our base criteria and then start rolling towards up and wherever we see that our criteria we are finding a leaf node with the target value that we are looking for we are going to go ahead and delete it so let's look at this problem and see uh, how we'll deal with this so we'll talk we are talking about 
uh, a stack so we are not going to directly use a st uh, stack we will use the uh, recursion which is uh, which will make use of the call stack so that we can uh, <coughs> capitalize on the same so we'll we'll quickly take a look at uh, the algorithm how this algorithm will look like so we are talking about a recursive function over here right so let's say i'm talking about a function called rec and what it takes is a node and it takes a target so target is nothing but the value that we are looking for so the first check is if um, node is null then in that case we don't need to do anything right we just return a null okay do what we are going to basically do is we are going to set the nodes left <clears throat> by calling the same function again with node left and the same target right we'll see the dry run in much more details okay so uh, just to be with me for the time being and uh, we'll see how it unfolds so we for the right also what we do we do the same thing we call with nodes right and the target so we are branching to uh, recur recursive uh, calls from this point and we are trying to set the left and right of this node now once we once we have uh, done setting it what we are going to do is we are going to check if leaf node and node uh, is equals to your target value then what we are going to do is we are going to at this point what we'll do is you will we are going to just return a null from here okay so that i i will set the parent as a leaf node if required and if if this is not the case what we are going to do is we are not going to do anything we will return the node as is whatever node we are processing we are going to return that as is we are not going to do anything so now what we'll do is we'll we'll quickly take this example and see how how this function will uh, how this uh, function will take care of this tree in order to delete uh, the uh, nodes in order okay so let's start with uh, the node one so what what are we checking is it null no it's not null i am going to get an answer for the left of this what to set on the left i don't know yet right so what i am going to do is i am going to call this same function that we called previously right we call the same function what i called it with the left so i called it with two and again for two i am checking is it null no it's not null i have to set its left but we don't know what its left is right and then we call the uh, this nodes like node two's left again so we call it with two and uh, then what happens then basically i wanted to set its left and again i don't know what what its left is so i call this with a null and when i call it with a null what i get in return i get a null right i am getting a null that's that's mentioned over here that if it is if the node is null return a null so i receive a null from him so what happened with this null i now came to know the value of this right this this left side so i put a null okay so my call continues then i call the right and i call it with null and again since i call it with a null i'll get a null and i will put the right is equals to null as well <clears throat> right so now both left and right has been evaluated for this node over here right now i am checking this is it a leaf, leaf node means uh, does it have does it not have a left child and a right child yeah it's a leaf node and does its value equal to the target value so i see that this condition is also evaluating to be true for this case so i said okay everything has been matched everything has been matched okay one one mistake uh, on my part sorry this would be null not left so i i saw that everything this node should go off this has been directly indicated so to go off this node what value should come over here a null value should come over here right we should have the left equals to null because if i am deleting this then my left becomes null so that's that's why we are returning a null from here so what i did i returned a null from here since this value has matched so basically what happened is now i know the value for this left uh, left subtree 
and I know this value is null. Now I know the left is done. Now I have to check for the right. And right, as of now, I don't know the value, right? And I call the right with a null. And as you know, when I call with a null, I get back a null. So what basically happens in this case is a null is set over here, right? And see now how this has become a leaf node in the same function, right? And so my left and right is sorted for this node. And now what I check, is this a leaf node? This is this has been deleted in the uh, pr previous recurs recursive call, right? So what I get is a two. I see that this is this condition is matching. So what I do is I give back one a null on its left. Now you see that how this subtree, this complete sub subtree, is gone. So first we have deleted this part only, this part. And now we have deleted this part because we have set left of one as null, right? And uh, we don't know the right of the null yet, uh, right of the one yet. So we will uh, again put a question mark that, okay, I don't know what is going to happen with the right of one. So it gets a call with three. And again, I don't know what is going to happen on my left or right. Um, so what 3 does is 3 calls its left and this again does not know the left and right. So these are the questions which will be answered eventually as it happened on the uh, left subtree means this part of the tree. So similar thing will happen for this also. So again an, it will be called with a null. So it get back a null. So what happens is this value is now gone because I have received a null from here. So I'm going to put a null and the right subtree is again called with a null and it receives back a null, right? So again, this right subtree will also be deleted. So right is also gone. So both are set to null. And now we are checking its node is equal to target. Oh, yeah, it is equal to target. So I am going to return back a, a null to the left of three. So left of three returns a null. And then we have the right of three and the right of three gets invoked with a four and four invokes with a null and receives a null. So it set, sets it left with a null. Similarly for its right, it calls with a null and receives back a null and it sets its right to null as well. And now see how interestingly this condition has been met is leaf node. But so this turns out to be false now. So this node is not deleted and what I return back is a 4. So I returned him back a 4. And when I return back a 4, what it's going to do? It's going to set its right to 4 only. So this relation is still holding true. I haven't deleted anything. And uh, <clears throat> now what happens is 3, uh, now uh, when th a 3 gets a null and a 4, this condition is not met. So 3 returns a 3 back to 1. And what happens in this case? We are going to update the right of uh, this guy with a 3. And now how the tr tree will look? So this has been deleted. This has been deleted. This has been deleted. So our tree would look like a 1, a 3, a 4. And that is the exact same thing that we have seen in this problem also that our answer is a 1, 3 and a 4. We have seen how this algorithm looks, how uh, our dry run is giving uh, us the desired result. So we are go going to head over to the code and try quickly try out uh, the solution. So the solution is pretty simple. We are getting a root. So we will be checking if root is null. In that case, just return a null. We don't need to do anything. And otherwise, what we did was we are uh, just setting our left and uh, right uh, subtrees, right? So we are going to call the same function again with uh, root dot left and uh, target. And uh, the same thing we are going to do with the right subtree as well. So we are going to set this to right. So once this check has been done, now we have to check that it's a leaf node or not. So there are three conditions. So root dot left should be equals to null. That has to be met. Root dot 
right has to be null that's my second condition and what else my root dot value or val should be equals to my target so in that case only i know that i have to delete this particular node right otherwise not so in this case i am going to return a null otherwise what we are going to do what we did was to return the root in all the cases so that's it that's the solution we just talked about those are those five lines that's going to solve your problem excluding the braces yeah so let's run the code and let's check how it goes so yeah one shot my code ran today impressive yeah so let's uh, submit and check for a wider range of test cases so yeah it's pretty much it's pretty fast it's a very linear time solution and uh, again the whole idea is on the approach uh, i hope i was able to convey the idea how recursion work how we are using uh, making use of the call stack using this uh, uh, tree over here how the tree is being evaluated and why we are not doing multiple passes in uh, in order to delete the nodes which will uh, become uh, leaf node in future after deletion of their child so i hope this uh, clarifies um, the problem statement and the solution do let me know your thoughts do give a like if you think this solution was easy and helpful um, do share and subscribe as well i always try to keep the solution as um, as simple as possible the one that you can present easily during your interview it's not very uh, easy to present a uh, uh, difficult solution during your interview so what i mainly focus is the simplicity of the solution and which is optimal at the same time which uh, which is easy to understand uh, both for you as well as uh, during a short span of interview of 30 minutes to 45 minutes you should be able to talk about the uh, problem you should have the uh, ample time to talk about the complexity the space complexity the time complexity about the edge cases about your test cases so there are several things that you should uh, be considering during an uh, interview so i try to keep the solution as short as possible so that you are left with some time for the other things that uh, you wanted to focus during an interview so once again a uh, lot of gain from this uh, video but uh, do give it a like if you think it was helpful and uh, do subscribe if you want to get notified for the next uh, video or the subsequent videos and uh, yeah that's it that's it from this video bye bye and have a great day see you soon guys